Hi everyone, it's Gail and I am here today going to do my project for CraftyCity.com. It's the 10th anniversary. Archana over there is having her anniversary. You might remember my little um, participation in the hop where everybody introduced themselves and you were all able to enter the... Um, enter the 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 fun little giveaway that she's doing of some of the kits but yeah i go on over there and check out her kits they are awesome this is so pretty i'm excited to play with it so i had an original idea for this project and i am going to do that but i think we might have to play with this little piece that comes in the kit as well this little notebook so we'll get done everything that we can let's see I'll check my time and um and then well we're gonna just jump in hi and hugs to everyone I'm not doing individuals because I have to get this done so my thought was I'm gonna do a faux front envelope because it is one of my things and so yeah I thought that would be a fun thing I haven't done one for a long time so at, at least on camera so let's do that um let's see my thought was i kind of wanted to use the uh um i wasn't there one yes this one i think i want to be able to use this sheet of paper and you might remember this it's alexandrarenke.com this paper and it's and it's just one sided. So, um so there is that to consider when you're doing your projects. Okay. So, I was thinking it would be fun to have um Yeah, I was thinking it would be fun to have the Ooh, I think I'm going to use the middle. Okay. Okay, okay, we're going to get started here. I am going to, let me just put all the other bits and pieces over to the side so I have room to maneuver here. Okay, let's get the branding strip off first things first. There we go. Okay, and then... I think what we'll do is do a little marking on this. I think I think I want to go right there. So let me do just a little some little pencil marks. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna cut this piece because it's gonna cover the front of the envelope we are going to cut this piece about the same size as there we go about the same size as our envelope so we'll have some good scratch pieces to yet play with but yeah I was thinking it'd be kind of fun to have like a fro front envelope that goes with this little um, this little notepad journal, but I want to decorate it too. So, so you know, we'll see what we can get done today. If we don't get the that's a fun scrap. If we don't get it completely done, then maybe what we'll do is I can finish it up um, when we do Marguerite Miller tomorrow or something like that. Okay, so we've got that. It's good. It's the size of the envelope. This is an avocado dyed envelope that I'm using for this. Okay, so I need to split this in two, and I'm going to go just on the other side of this teacup, which is why I chose this particular pattern out of the paper, because it'll have a little bit a little bit of fun on both sides so okay. okay so cut those in half so now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna ink them I'm gonna use Victorian velvet and I'm just gonna go around the edges Ooh, 
that's pretty on that paper. So yeah, if you haven't checked out craftycity.com, head on over there and check her out. She's got a lot of fun things over there. And her kits are awesome and reasonably priced, I thought. So, so yeah, give that a give that a whirl. Okay. So now one thing I want on the front is I do want a whale tail punch. And I'm thinking. We can go maybe right here at the top, I think. So, let's see. Um, I just, it's hard for me to cut into these gorgeous papers, you know? I wonder, I'm wondering if one of these little cards, I think that's what I'm going to do is pull is just cut one of the cards out and use it to punch the tab so that I'm not cutting into because I'd really like to keep the the all over pattern paper for covering this notepad. Okay. So I'm going to get kind of over to the side on this, get as much flour as I can. There, that was a good idea. So we didn't, we didn't um, then use a whole piece of paper to do that. Okay, do I like that side? Do I like that? I think I like that side for the front. I'm going to go ahead and do the back, too. I don't know that it's going to show, but just in case. So that is going to go right here. Okay, let's put that on first. First things first. I've been having trouble with my art glitter glue glopping. So we're going to hope. Oh, thank you for being just perfect. Well, don't speak too soon, Gail. gonna pound it a little bit so it settles back down in okay so I'm gonna go right up there okay so this then is going to fold under under that piece is the is the idea so we'll see if we can get it put on there so that that works And if not, I have another fix that could maybe work. I don't know. We'll see. We'll just see how we go here. I'm putting that just slightly, ever so slightly over the edge because I want there to be enough room for this to fold in. And there will be now. Okay, perfect. All right, so let's pull out this gorgeous... Warshi, warshi tape. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> my kids gave my mom such a bad time. She is from Iowa. I don't know if it's an Iowa thing or if it was just a my mom thing, but she would say for laundry, she would say, yep, I got to do the wash today. <laughs> I can't believe I said wash. <laughs> I can't wait to tell my son that he'll crack up. Oh, <laughs> okay, so can't get that off of my finger. Isn't this gorgeous washi tape though? I just love this. Okay, but you have to go off of there. All right, so I'm going to use the washi for the hinge. Is what I'm a is what I'm a gonna do. So I'm getting that kind of lined up there. Um find the gotta find the end is that it yes gosh sometimes washi is so hard to it's like it's got a little crease right there oh look it's two 
Okay. It's a real skinny one and then a thicker one. Okay, well, that makes sense. I was like, why is it cut right there? <laughs> I was you got to be smarter than the washi tape, don't you? Okay. Let's get ourselves. Come on. There we go. Okay, that should be enough. That probably won't be the last time we use that washi because I just think it's gorgeous. Okay, so let's do this. I'm going to just put a little extra glue because it's the spine. We're going to, you know, we're going to want it to hold well. Just in general, for the most part, unless it's a project for myself, I usually put a little washi on just to Okay, let me line this up with my grid on my um, on my mat and see if I can't get this semi-straight. Okay, well I got more on one side than the other, but I don't I don't think that's a big deal. And we are going to be putting some pockets and things on this, so it's going to, it'll stay stuck, I do believe. Okay, so now we have our faux front, right? And so then we just, we just tuck that under there to close it up. But we're going to want to decorate the inside of, of uh, this area. Okay, so I'm thinking, where's my little scraps? They're under my cutter here. I feel like with those, I would have to cut, you know, cut them in half or whatever, and I don't really wanna do that, although this one might work pretty well. Let's use this one for, for a little pocket. Um, I'm just... I think I'll go up a little bit, like there, and then how tall do I want? My, I'll just go to the top of the teapot. Like so. Let's attempt to get it straight there. So just a little piece of white cardstock left there, really. Okay, and then can we, okay, I'm going to have to cut off a little of that edge in order to get, okay, I'm going to go, hmm, I guess I'll go right about, right at the end of the letter here. And then kind of right at the end of the teapot. Let's just do that. Or teacup, I mean. Okay, I would sort of like to have a little bit of a... Um, a thumb hole, but I'm gonna do it over like off center because um, that is if I can find my hole punch. Where'd you go? Huh. Well, I can't find my my punch, so I guess I'll use the bigger one. Can't find my little one. It's in my mess somewhere, I suppose. So yeah, we'll just do a little like that. Let's 
let's do this too while we're at it. I don't know. Yeah, that, that picks up a little bit. And we can do the middle there. Okay. So, so this is going to go on here. But do I want to leave that white? No, I don't think I do. So let's grab us a little stencil. Um, I think I'd like to use, I think I can use this one. Hmm, that's really pretty too. Let's use this one. Tim Holtz stencil here. Uh, this one is called Ironwork Layering Stencil. Okay, so let's just, oh, excuse me, I got to sneeze. Okay, let's just go like so. that better okay so let's put this down oops what am I doing wrong glue put this down and then um, what I'm thinking is those little journal cards we can cut out a few of those to put in here that right about there okay that's fun now I want to do something here too and I think I would like let's see let's use let's use the butterfly here and just kind of take a look and see how that would look as a little pocket. Okay. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just cut a line of the butterflies off. <clears throat> Have that be a little pocket too. So can't get three, probably only two. Yeah. So maybe give it a little mark right about here. Okay. And we can put we can put a little divot in this guy too because uh, yeah and then I'm just gonna put a pocket there but then we're going to attach a little flap is what's is what's going to happen here okay I like that too And I think I'm gonna. Mm, I think I'm gonna move it all the way to the bottom, just so I have more room for my flap. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. All right. Then I move that kind of over towards the spine, so there's plenty of room for the closure and everything. Okay, so there's that. Now, let's 
um, let's think about a little flappy fold to go down, which I think we should probably just use some of this for that. So if I make it about the width of the pocket, that should work. So we're here and we're here. I think we get most of the um, design. Okay, so here. Could have done that better, I think. But it's gonna, it's gonna do, it's gonna do. But yeah, that's cute. Okay, I'm gonna round the bottom corners, and we are going to put that on like so as and it's going to flip up so we're gonna ink the whole thing probably don't need to ink the top of the other side but okay before i get that in i think i'm gonna do a little bit of um little bit of stenciling on it it's mostly it's going to have a pocket too so it's going to be a little bit covered up so but i do like having it have a little bit more personality okay so now we're going to take this And I'm going to add a little bit more sticky to it. There we go. Okay, I'm going to try and try my best to get this straight. Boom. Okay, now I'm gonna just real quick like get rid of the extra. Okay, and then we are just going to get that kind of lined up and fold that over. Straight on this side. There we go. There we go. Okay, so that's a little flap for there, which I think what we're going to do is use a little piece of scrap here and use it as like a little belly band on there. But we need to cut a little off. Hoping I can do that straight enough. Yes, perfect. Okay. So, I forgot how much fun these were. Kind of did. I, and so, I appreciate having this opportunity to play a little bit with a little faux front envelope. Uh, if you uh, search Gail Augustinelli faux front envelopes, F-A-U-X, faux front envelopes, you'll find other 
um, other videos that I've done doing ah, doing these little envelopes, including the original one when I first thought about it. So, okay, there's that. Now, um, now we really just have to put some cards in the pockets and then um, I want to do a little decorating of some sort some other stuff on the front a little bit so let's pull out gosh why won't you stick oh now it is just need to be squished down I guess um yeah, let's cut out some cards to put in here. Okay. We'll just go with this this first tier of cards to begin with. Okay. Actually, let's just go let's just go down the line here. I love that birdie one. I definitely want to use that one. Let's see. Up there. Okay. I definitely want the birdie one. I'm going to use my small chopper to do this part. Just be maybe a little easier and quicker. one. I really like this cherry blossom one too. Whoops. Made that a little skinny. Oh well. Okay. Um, how about this bucket? That's really cute. not very good at cutting these when they don't have lines <laughs> okay so I want three for each of these pockets and then one or two for that one so I have three let's go with this one okay one this is a cute one um, let's do the T one. Okay, there's three there. Then I think I do like that one for the belly band. We'll just do one for the belly band for now. Let's see. Okay. So now, okay, so what I'm, what I was thinking too is if you want to add some lace to these, that would be nice too. Um, little guy in there the birdie in the front how about but these are pretty quick little projects to do so I don't know I hope the birdie's gonna show I might have to put him in the other side because it's a shallower pocket yeah I'm gonna put him there Okay, so we need one other one, maybe this one, for this other side. 
right here. Okay. Actually, I'm going to trade these two. Okay, and then... So there's, there's those pockets, and then this we'll just put in the belly band. Lots of fun little places to stick some notes, huh? Okay, and then that goes across to there. Okay. <clears throat> so, as you can see, it still closes. So, faux front envelope. You've got, you open it up and it's like, oh my gosh, there's all sorts of things. Yeah. Okay. So, then my thought was, what about using one of these pretty buttons on there? Oh no. Which one? I was thinking of it right there. Oh, I think I like the green one. And it is sticky, but I'm still going to put something, a little bit of glue on there. Like so. Hey, I'm just going to leave that and let that dry. So there, there was my original project. Let's see, what time do we have? Okay, so we have time to start working on this little um, notebook that was in the kit, too. Because I really wanted to do that, too. So I'm just thinking this could go with this. So, yeah, that's the faux front envelope. You put a little note in there and you're good to go okay such fun things to play with now i did kind of want to use this high t i was thinking about like going this way on on this so it's going to need some embossing and stuff so i don't know that i will totally complete this in this video but i'm gonna just get going and see what what we can get done so I'm thinking I would like this on the front and the back. I'm going to set my full front envelope over. Super fun kit to play with this is. I'm, I'm really enjoying. And it's, it's a little bit different design than normal. I feel like I'm usually a little more, shall we say, busy <laughs> and not as um, clean as this is. But... You know, it's just so fun to explore different, you know, different things and not always do the same, the same and the same. Okay, what I'd like is I would like a little bit of, um, would like a little bit of the black showing around is my thought. So let's mark this. I think I'm going to go right here. And then let's pull this over a little bit so I can see. And then I've got a little at the bottom, so I'm going to go right here. Okay. And what I'm thinking is the front and the back should be the same. So I should be able to just kind of make two of these. The scrap of paper I feel is too um, thick to wrap around the spine was what I was kind of thinking. Okay. 
Okay, so there's one piece. So that's going to go on the front like so. I think I'll round the corners because the notebook is rounded. But okay, let's let's cut another one for the back. And if you're thinking, oh, it would be hard to cut into that paper, you're absolutely right, it is. <laughs> but I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Yeah, that's good right there. I am, it's gonna, there's gonna be some really fun scraps to play with later on too, I think. Methinks there will be some yummy scraps like that <laughs> okay let's then first of all on this one is it this one this one I want to erase my, I've got a little bit of my pencil mark showing there doesn't look like it's showing at the top okay let's round the corners of this All right, I'm a little fumbly there. Okay. All right. So then I am going to give it a little bit of the Victorian velvet. I'm going to say that's the right side up. I'm, it's a little bit tough to tell. So I'm going to use art glitter glue on this to adhere these, um, let's see, is that, I don't know, it's, I don't think it's particularly directional. Um, I'm using art glitter glue because I don't want it to warp. Yeah, see how fun? Okay. I'm just going to put this on there. Okay. I'm going to put that right about there get my card I'd rather not smoosh any glue out onto that black cover there's a little bit right there but ink. squish it into the cover so that it stays really well Okay, you kind of can't see the, <laughs> kind of can't see the notebook, can you? But that's what it's going to look like. Yeah, that's fun, fun, fun. Okay, other side. And then we have pockets and stuff on the inside that we can kind of look at and see what we'd like to do with those. <laughs> Trying to kind of get it even on all sides. That's my what I'm trying to do. Okay. Notebook is covered. Gosh, I just don't know. 
but that is kind of cool, isn't it? I don't have my embossing stuff out, but I do think that's what I'm going to do on the front and then use some of the flowers that were included in the kit as well. That's okay going that way, don't you think? And then, you know, put a few put a few flowers on there. Yeah, I think that's I think that's what I'm going to do. I am going to have to um emboss that later. So that may be <laughs> At the end of um, uh, our Marguerite Miller challenge tomorrow. Let's see. So let's take you off of there. And let's take, not you, you off of there. Because then I was thinking of. But then, as I think about it, that's going to make it real hard to write on the, let's see what it's like. Like if we're, yeah, that's not going to work. That's not going to work for me. It's okay. Nope. Not this project. But one can always use flowers. And that's the fun thing about getting kits, I think, is, um, you know, you may not use it all in one project, but there's all, there'll always be stuff coming along that you can use it on. Now, when I was just looking at the, I don't know how much... Now that I'm looking at this, oh, this will wrap around. That will be great. That will wrap around. What I was thinking is, now this might be. Nope. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, I, I need to emboss this. I think I'm going to do the teapot pink and the letters. I'm not sure. Anyways, we'll, we'll work on that later. And this can be the closure. Okay, so we won't have used the artificial flowers in this project. But like I say, we will have those to play with another day. Okay, so how fun is are these pockets? And how hard are they going to be to cover? <laughs> okay. Well, I don't have enough of this paper to do. Okay. I just had the thought of what if we made a pocket there. Because we do have two of these. So we could have that be a pocket and this be a pocket. I think I might do that. Yes, I think I have time. Okay, let's see. We do have this paper that we haven't used. I'm feeling like it might be kind of fun to have that at the top and then use the other side on this side to cover this. Maybe just to there. Okay, I'm going to jump in, get crazy, and just do this. Okay, and then we're going to want it maybe right about here. And we're going to want two of those. Okay, one for the front, one for the back. But we should be able to get two out of this one this one strip I think oh, let's get that get the branding strip off that always messes with me this is Julie nutting paper it's called letter DMOR okay fits so much better in the cutter once you've got this branding strip off okay 
And then I'm gonna cut this down to size here and do another one here. Okay. So I'm going to want to round the top corners. I need to move my high T so I don't ruin it. Wouldn't that be a shame? That would be a shame. I would be mad at myself. Okay, so those are going to go on the back, or the, the pocket, cover the back of the pocket like, like so. And they, you know, they're not covering that up, but I might put a piece of this thin washi there or something. Okay. I do believe we've got this. Got her figured out. And then this one will go the other way, but will work the same. Okay. It's going to be a little tricky getting them in there, but we can do it, I think. You could have, I could have actually left this as a top pocket too, but that's okay. Okay, so I'll lift this up and get this down in there, reasonably straight. Okay. What to do with my paper towel. Okay. So there's that one. And we'll do this one. I like the idea of using the pink floral pages for kind of front pockets. I think that'd be fun. Okay, get you in here. Yep. All right. Got success with that. Okay. Now, let's I'd like to use the gold side kind of on here. Hmm. And so, let's see. Let's make it, let's figure out the width. Okay, I'm gonna cut that first. And then see if we can figure out the other. It's a little tricky on these slanted pockets. All right, so then. So then. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mark here. I'm going to make a mark here. Here, and I'm going to make a mark. Let's see. This is going to be up that high. So I really can just cut it across right there. And it's going to be covered so it doesn't have to be super straight. Do my best 
and then we're going to go from this mark to this mark. I don't know, probably a better way, but that's going to work, I think. Let's get those lined up there. Okay. Yeah, yes. Okay, so let's do this. Let's we'll cut that the same length. That the same length, okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to flip this over like that. And I'm just going to draw a line there. We're going to cut along that for the other side. Hopefully my brain is working in the right direction on this and didn't mess that up. We have more paper if I did. Okay, so if this is flipped, that's going to work. Yes, indeedy, it is. Okay, how are we doing? Oh, good. I think we're going to get these pockets covered today. Okay. Don't need to do the bottom. Okay, let's get those put on. Gosh, my glue is working great now. I don't know, I just had a little, little something stopping up the works. Okay. All right, all right, so far so good. Okay, now the other side. Get that very good. We are just going to have ourselves a little notebook, a little faux front envelope, and a happy anniversary to crafty or craftcity.com. I'll put, have all the links below. I'll also have the links of everyone who participated in the hop. I'll just put the same the same description as was in the hop part. Okay, super fun. Okay, so now these, actually I'm not going to need anything at the bottom because these are actually going to need to be cut a little bit. So, just a skosh, just a tiny bit. So, we'll do that. It's a cute little strip. Um, and then, let's see, let's go this way. There we go. Cool. going to be just right and then I'm going to put a pull in there so it's obvious that it's a pocket distress let's see let's put this on for a minute while we're messing around here I just got that glue a flowing I don't want to mess it up now going to go just like that. Okay. 
that'll be fun. I have several pockets for supplies for, you know, doing whatever one does in this notebook. I think I'll be, I'll be saving these for my retreat and have them be another door prize. There we go. Thank you for all your inquiries about the about the retreat. Um, it is full for this year, however. So, and we'll see how this one goes, and then. I may do one next year. See how this one goes. See how life goes. <laughs> Hopefully all will be well. Let's see. Let's do this. Okay. How fun. Okay, I have a thought. For kind of decorating that pocket a little bit which is um what about if we wherever they are used could we use one of these little cards maybe little greetings I'm struggling a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, because it is so it is so clean. I'm just not I'm used to working with a little more fluff than these papers. <laughs> I don't know, a little more busyness. But I know that this is this is the style that too these days is a little um minimalist, you know. And so I need to just, I just need to get with the, get with the program. Maybe if I put something behind it. I do like that bucket though. Um, and here's another one with some flowers. We'll do the two, do the two flowered ones. Which one do I like best for the front? Ooh, I think I kind of like that one. And I'll put that one in the back. Let's go ahead and put this on and then decide if we need anything backing this. I was thinking about maybe a little lace or something behind it. Nope, I don't think so. I think it's meant to be minimalist. I'm better once they're, they're inked on the edges. <laughs> Okay, so let's pop those on and then our notebook except for the front will be done But we will like I say, let's just emboss the chipboard and get it on the front um, In my next video, which will be my Marguerite Miller challenge, but we always do another project besides that so What do you think, guys? It's very different from a usual Gale project, but it was just fun. Except for the full front envelope. Those we've done before. Okay, I'm gonna pop that on there. And, yeah. Very fun. I don't know, maybe we'll unearth a word or something from another from another set and put a little word there or something. That would be fun. Okay, so there we have this all covered up. Let me, let me do this. All covered up. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> That's real fun. Okay, and then this one is our girlfriend envelope. And so this pops out. We've got our little journal cards. We've got more journal cards. We've got all sorts of places to write. 
and then it tucks right back in and then we can fill it with whatever we decide to fill it with so there you go there's my projects for crafty or yeah craftcity.com i'll have all the information below please go check out the other gals in the um in the hop and um and i hope you have a grateful day thank you arshana for um inviting me along and having some fun with these beautiful beautiful papers oh my gosh they are lovely so thanks everybody have a grateful day bye